morning, good day, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV. This is episode 515, and I'm brought a Swedish made bean to bar chocolate. This is the Swedish Cocoa Company. Uh, they're 85 Yukali 21 Harvest. Uh, I think I've tried two of these before from the same region with the same beans 72% and some. I think there's a milk chocolate, 42% of something. But this is the 85 one. And this is, uh, they say it's a local variant of, of the cocoa bean called uh, Kumun and four different varieties of Trinitario. So let's try this. So, this is the usual mole of the Swedish Cocoa Company, down in the south of Sweden. Uh, diamond prism. Uh, you can see this is kind of dark and kind of reddish, dark black cocoa. Dark brown, black, reddish cocoa. So, let's break off a piece and let's smell this one. Nice and crisp. There's a lot of fruit in this one. You got some gooseberry, you got some red currant. Also got some papaya and some mango. And there's a red tea component as well. This is a very fragrant, fragrant chocolate. Well. That's the scent I'm picking up. Let's try it on the palate. See what kind of flavors my tongue picks up today. This Monday, 13th of May, 2024. Episode 515. First off, a small bitterness reminding me of grapefruit or orange peel, followed by more tart red fruit like goji berries or cranberries or lingonberries. Slowly melting chocolate, 85%, that's high cocoa count. You are the lingering bottom of, of uh, red tea, rooibos tea, and also some, almost some leather. Maybe fresh tobacco as well. I'm not that familiar with tobacco. Yeah, but that red tart berry acidity and flavor lingers. I was almost expecting the, the gooseberry from the nose, but it doesn't come through. It's more that goji berry, lingonberry, and cranberry, or pomegranate, that kind of red zing to it as well. Turns out very drying, drying out your palate, drying out your tongue, your mouth. Reminding me of a, of a medium full uh, young red wine with kind of a lot of, of, of sandy tannins. AKA lovely. And the back end almost has kind of a uh, streak of hot chili and black pepper to it as well. 
and it's lingering with that little bit of bitter and tart red fruit residual flavor. Nice chocolate. I like this one. Uh, I'm going to give this 8 out of 10. And it's a high score and it's a lovely chocolate. I don't know if you can get it. Swedish Coke Company doesn't make that much chocolate. It's a bean to bar, the artisan maker, but look for it. Uh, I don't think they will disappoint you. And I hope you have a good week because I'm having that.